Number 54. Which of the enthalpies of combustion in table 5.2, the table, <laughs> are also standard enthalpies of formation? Okay, uh, I think the writing, hold on. Which of the enthalpies of combustion in table 5.2, the table? I think, I think let's just erase this. Yay. Okay, so which of the enthalpies of combustion in table 5.2 are also standard enthalpies of formation? So this is a pretty easy question, guys. All right, just know that the standard enthalpy of formation, the key word here is formation. If you're dealing with the standard enthalpy, so the heat amount that it takes to form a compound, you are forming a single mole. So when I say a single mole, I mean one mole. And that's a little bit ugly. So when I mean a single mole, I mean you're forming only one mole of a compound. So technically, there should only be one mole on the product side. The formation is your compound on the product side. So I'm only basically looking at the product side here. Right? Now, for all of these you should be only forming one compound. So for all of these down below, you see how you're forming two compounds? These are not formation problems or formation equations. So all of these from methane all the way down to isooctane, they're not in the running because you're forming two compounds. You're not forming a single mole of a compound. Okay, the next thing is we're now down to these five. So we did the first checkpoint here, right? Now the second thing is that your reactants have to be in elemental form, meaning that you can only make a compound from its elements. So this is coming back to your diatomics and knowing who's a diatomic and knowing who is a free element. So for example, if I look at carbon monoxide, I do have a single compound that's being formed, but it's coming from the compound CO. That can't be. You cannot have compounds on the left side. Everything has to be coming from its elements, okay? So carbon monoxide, this one's out. Goodbye. And maybe I'll just do this. So that gets rid of that. Now you're basically looking at the other ones. So just to recap here, I'm just going to put out, you know, what are your diatomics and what they are in their standard state. So H2, gas. N2, gas. O2, gas. F2, gas. Cl2, gas. Br2, liquid and iodine as a solid, iodine I2. These are your only diatomics, guys. Everything else should be as a single element and in a solid form, except for mercury. Mercury should be in a liquid, but there's no mercury here. But basically, all these other ones pass the test. You have a single element, or actually a single compound on the product side, and for each one of them, they're all in their elemental forms. And as you can see, all the O2s are diatomics. And that's what needs to happen, right? O2 is a diatomic. And I see that I have a diatomic for hydrogen. So that checks out, right? And it's in its standard state. And all the other ones, carbon, magnesium, sulfur, they're not diatomics and they're all solids. So which of these? It's these four. And that's it. And maybe actually if I can just, I'll just do this. These are the four in which the enthalpy of combustion are also standard enthalpy of formation. All right. So hopefully that helped. And I, I think I'm done coloring in at this point. What do you think? So thank you so much. Where did it go? Hey, that's okay. You, you get the gist, right? It's these guys. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. 
Um, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel if you want to. If not, that's okay. All right. Uh, we also have physics and math videos at the moment on the channel. So if you're in those classes, go check them out. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you in future lessons. I hope. All right. See you then. Bye-bye.